Raleigh police officers are searching for the person who shot and injured a teenage girl. This happened this morning at a condo complex off Park Glen Drive. That's just off North Raleigh Boulevard and just inside the Beltline. WREL's Laura Levine spoke with neighbors there. Raleigh police spent several hours here at Parkland condominiums investigating the shooting that injured a teenager. I spoke with several people who live in this community. They tell me it's pretty disturbing to learn that more and more young people are getting hurt. Just before 7 o'clock this morning, gunshots went off. I think it's sad. It's a sad situation we have to live in. Every time you turn around, somebody's getting shot. Janice Andrews was getting ready to start her normal Sunday routine. Surprised to step outside and see crime scene tape and police cars blocking the parking lot. Because if I had known that, I may not have come out to go to church this morning because, you know, you just never know. Neighbors tell me the girl hit by gunfire was 16 years old. Police have not identified her, but say she is expected to be okay. How disturbing is that for you to know that it happened so close to home? It's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling, but I believe the Lord is covering me, so I have to keep going. Seth Collins was actually here helping his brother move out when he saw all of this. Pulling up is just like, man, we just hoping that it's not, you know, somebody that's in our family. And many neighbors I spoke with are thankful a life was not lost, but they tell me more needs to be done to prevent days like this. Gun control situation is critical. And we need to do more. We need to do more to make people safe. I do feel like we're coming together more as a people, even though we do have these kind of situations that happen. You know, but I think we do have to focus a lot as well on a lot of the good things that's happening as well. While the details around the shooting are still unclear, Oliver believes the community needs to be willing to speak up about the issues happening around them if they want to see true change. Just continue to, you know, be vocal about it and for us to not be afraid to stand up and talk about things. Raleigh police is asking anyone with any information about the shooting that happened here this morning to give them a call. Laura Levine, WREO News in Raleigh.